Yo, what's good everyone? It's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and welcome to a video that I've been planning for a long time. I've gotten in Debre, one of the legends of the game, to do a best of five one vs one series against me. Obviously, I've already done this against Shimmy and Antek, two of the other best players in the world, and Debre is looking to be the first one to flawless me five maps. But uh, maybe I'll follow him. You never know. Uh, so Debray, welcome That's to the channel. Thanks. Um, any any thoughts? We've got improved world. That was your preference because we want to see some, some India rounds, which you've been practicing. Anything yeah, I'm fishing for some India. I've been uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I've, I've been trying to learn like India because. I feel like it's it's a country that where if you're really good at it, it can be like really scary for your opponent. So that's uh, that's kind of the idea behind it. I. It's kind of a dreadful experience, I will say that. I wouldn't recommend anybody learning India. The only reason I'm doing it is because if I like if, if I can like spend a lot of time like mapping out the entire country and all the metas, then I think it's worth it. Otherwise, you're just going to get confused because there's so many like random things. To right. No, I think that's pretty valid. Um, well, Debray, I say best of luck as we head into the first NMPZ game and uh, may the better man win. All right, let's get right. it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. First game against Debre. Let's see how we can go. NMPZ. We have very similar ratings, actually. Uh, but I've been practicing all weekend, and he said he's a bit rusty, so I think this is a great opportunity to uh, potentially get some wins here. First round here, we're going directly south. This feels very dry. It feels like that northern part of Chile. Um, and I'm looking for something that's pretty much north-south, slightly southeast. This would be too much easterly direction. Is it? It's very straight as well, isn't it? Oh, there is a bend in the distance. I might just go here. This feels about right. Let's go for that. And okay, he actually got the 5k. That's He didn't even click on the road. The disrespect is crazy. But it's okay, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not really good at Northern Chile. Definitely a place I would like to work out and get some improvement. But we already have our first India of the day. Now, wouldn't it be nice if I got closer than him here? Um, so we have hills to our northeast there. We have rice fields. We don't have any architecture here, so this is pretty bare bones in terms of information. I kind of thought of this kind of area here, like maybe like Andhra Pradesh, Telangana border, but maybe it's just those northern rice fields as well. We do have some slight hills here. Uh, he's sending the crying emojis craziness. I, I, I want to go for that. I feel like the slight hills do. I'm going to go for that. And okay, we're actually closer here. It was Telangana. We both get the state, but Debra is a little further away, and it's 134 damage. He is he's crazing at me. Let's go. Okay, nice. That's a bit of a confidence boost, even though it was not too many points. Next one here is clearly Turkey. We're downtown. We've got lots of flat roofs here, so this feels like southern Turkey to me, potentially, here. Might just go in for that. I guess, like, Gaziantep would be a fine, a fine bet kind of hedges for most of the things that are possible here so yeah i'm just gonna go in uh bira check bira sick and uh, hopefully that's gonna be a relatively close guess and it is batman there so we are closer i should have gone even further basically you get those flat roofs all along the syrian border and debris is not there so good little piece of damage there hopefully i can back that up with some more good guesses here as we head through to uh lithuania obviously this series is kind of a bit of revenge as well hopefully because uh, it was debris who basically destroyed me in the world cup but we didn't get to play any pz to be fair so hopefully that this can be a bit better uh, but this just feels like that pretty standard lith stuff i'm, I'm just gonna hedge it slightly east here because of the hills and it ends up being west he doesn't know the bollards interesting because the <laughs> i don't know if he's just trolling or if he doesn't know the bollards but yeah these ones are quite different to the latvian ones maybe he was hedging for estonia i don't know next one here uh and we are in iceland and i'm pretty bad at iceland i would not be surprised if debra is pretty good at it but yeah iceland because of the uh, yellow bollards in the distance here um, do i think this is east or west i, I guess I, I guess i would lean i'm actually going to click middle here i don't know if this is east or west and it was east yeah i was probably thinking more west so the hedge ends up being fine 699 points nice and debris is ahead by 600 points here not not my finest moment there clicking in the middle but hey okay this one it felt like Malia or Ceuta or something like that in Spain, I thought. So we got West, a West Bay here. Does that make sense for either of them? Ceuta certainly could make sense. It certainly could. So we're looking kind of north-ish as well. Hmm. I don't know if we're looking at Gibraltar like that. It's 2023 coverage. Did they new do new coverage there? I'm only mildly confident about that. Number plates certainly work. Car makeup could work as well. And then as for Malia, I don't think that works as nicely. So I'm going to go Suta here. We'll see. And we'll see what good Debra goes for. Oh, yes, we got the 5k. Very nice indeed. He hedges in southern Spain, though, so it's not going to be too much. Just 400 points there. But it's an impressive guess nonetheless. I'm happy with that. Hopefully that adds to the confidence as well. Next one here we got. We got a reflector inside the wide lines. I thought this is probably just going to be somewhere in Arkansas for that reason. That could definitely make sense to me. 
Mississippi and Louisiana also, but I'm going to go for Arkansas here, actually. Put the pressure on, because yeah, Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, they have those wide lines, but yeah, with the reflectors between, that is going to be good for us, guys. 2.2k. I feel like I've uh, not been stressing too much. It's just been certain countries where Debray's been really in an advantage. And here we are in Russia, probably what he wanted to see. This is a B-type antenna. Kind of getting easterly vibes here, but how far east do we want to go? This could definitely be the end of the game, 2.5 times damage. Is it more Kazan or is it further east? We have a lot of wildflowers, we have some fireweed. I'm not so sure about this one, guys. I feel like I do want to go further out this direction. B-type antenna, you would go even Krasnoyarsk, I think. Wait, no, no, you would go Novosibirsk area. If it's there, 10 seconds to go, do I hedge it further west? It's not a pleasant round. I feel like, I feel like I'm just gonna go out here. I am. Okay, and it was halfway. Man, oh man, it was just Yekaterinburg there, and he goes in Nizhny, so it's gonna be 700 points onto me, but honestly, that's a great result, considering my guess was not that good. Okay, next one here, Japan. I feel like Debray may know Japan fairly well. Uh, we have Hokkaido arrows, which is not what I, was, what I was expecting to see here. This should be quite southern in Hokkaido, to my money. We actually, uh, to my mind, we might actually be near Hokodate. Um, but I'm just going to hedge it south of Sapporo. Um, and hopefully these are not lying. I mean, I've never seen them lie. That would be crazy if they were. Pole top looks right as well. But if vegetation only, then... Oh, I should have gone Hokodate. But if vegetation only, I probably would have been down in Fukushima or something like that. So definitely an interesting round there. 3.1 times damage here. No one went for the big guess there. Well, here we are in maybe the US or Canada. We have American-style fences. So this kind of feels like it might be out in the Midwest somewhere. Or like quite far west, like Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Dakotas, maybe something like that. Trees do feel kind of northern here, I can't lie. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for Nebraska here. It's a nice big hedge. It could definitely be even Canada. But I'm thinking more US. I'm thinking any of these states around here. So I hope that this is a decent guess. I feel like, I feel like so far these types of rounds have benefited us. And it was just North Dakota there. Maybe I should have gone South Dakota. I wasn't going to commit all the way. But it's still good damage for us, I guess. And okay, 3.4 times damage. We're back in a big country. I think it's going to be Argentina. Could be good for us. It just feels a bit further North to me. Red brick architecture here is interesting. A couple of cacti here. That that kind of feels a bit further North as well. And we're on a, we're on a North-South grid here, which could potentially help if I had more of an idea. Thinking maybe, I don't know how far up north I want to go. I, I think it could still just be BA, but I'm going to hedge it here. And okay, well, it's quite far north there in Corrientes. He actually goes to Uruguay, uh, missing the pole there. So that is going to be the first game to us, which is very nice. Good result there. But we're going to head through to NM next. So that's going to be tough. But first off, let's talk to Debra. GG on the first one there, Debra. Yeah, that was a, yeah, GG's. That was a, that was a deeply suspicious game. I... <laughs> In there what were, sense? In what sense? There were so many rounds suspicious? where I was not brave enough, like with the mm. like with the Russia one, where it was like the typical like gray dirt that you would find like east of the Urals, and I just like didn't trust it. Or with like North Dakota, where you have like the typical glacial lake, or there's like dots like all over the, you know, there's like dots of this like all over the map. I was just scared because like I lost so many points early on. And I feel you. Know. I feel you. Even the uh, yeah. Japan, I was scared to commit max south as yeah. well i was also <laughs> hedging a bit um but that's okay we're heading through to nm i dare say you would favor yourself more against me on nm so hopefully um maybe that can go well mm -hmm. well i was also pleased to get closer than you on the india just saying debra just saying i got the state yeah we both got the state i think yeah yeah you, you did as well let's go for some nm if you're going to 5k all the india there's not much i can do realistically oh true all right let's head through good luck okay here we are on no moving now game number two let's go let's go Okay, so we're starting off here with a really interesting round. What is this thing? It looks like Russia, though. Am I right about that? This could be Ukraine. This pole top here, the like under, uh, like reverse T, is kind of common in Ukraine. I think the vibes here are more Russian, though. We have yellow flowers, which is quite common around Moscow. That's yeah, definitely an interesting round. Like, I don't entirely know where I would click here, especially without the antenna present. I'm probably just going to go east of Moscow here and uh, hope for the best. We shall see. And okay, it was actually just perm there. Did not get that vibe, so that's a really nice guess from Debra 1.4k. Honestly, all I can say about that is... Oh, oh it was... Mm, that We're playing no moving. Okay, well, uh, at least I can cope a little bit here, guys. But okay, next one here. This time, we are driving left-hand side of the road. It's clearly South Africa. We got a big green mountain to our north here, and not too much else. So what are the what are the houses? What do the, the vegetation look like? But, like, a lot of the palms. Vegetation feels a bit more subtropical to me, so I, I do think this is a bit further north. Plate seems to have some green on it or something, which is interesting. That's not what I would have expected to see. Plate could indicate that we were more so down here on, like, the East Cape or something. I mean, I was thinking this is more north. Wait, so could it just be East Cape? What is that there? Easterly Mountains as well. Mm. I'm actually switching down here. 
This please don't be bad. Oh, and it is. Yeah, yeah, that's where I would have gone. And yeah, the plate kind of saves me there. That's huge damage there, 1.6k. We've actually completely undone all the damage in round number one by actually looking around there. So that's great. Okay, next one here. Have to remember to look around. This is, of course, Bangladesh. Roofs here. Sometimes the roofs can really help. Okay, let's check the copyright as well. Copyright date is 2023. That doesn't help at all, really. Hit me anywhere in the country. Forest is quite dense. I might just guess south of Dakar here for that reason. Not too sure what I think. I'm just going to go here. And okay, let's just west of Dakar instead. He goes for the hedge. And we are ever so slightly closer. Just 26 points of damage there. Um, okay, so we got next up here. This looks like US or Canada. This is like typical style pole. This light bulb is more common in the US, I'm thinking. No front plates as well. That's also more common there. Bluish plates there? Hmm. Not an easy one. We have this. This is American style of pole and we have the big blue car interesting so blue plates for sure here is that an i was gonna say is that an indiana plate no 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 okay let's actually be objective here what type of trees do we have we have kind of red soil maybe this is oklahoma oklahoma plates could make sense for what we're seeing here i think but it also fell a bit further north like some of these like timber houses i think i'm just gonna go north oklahoma here i didn't actually get time to get a good vibe here but i'm gonna go tulsa maybe i don't know okay and it was uh uh kansas there he goes kansas city so actually nothing too crazy just 79 points i'm happy with that kansas plates can look like that as well actually yeah, well I, clearly they were but you know that makes sense to me that does actually ring a bell now we're in, in nigeria not india okay um and we're going south southeast we seem to be, we have a lot of red soil here. Are we going up this direction, I wonder? And what direction am I meaning? Just this way, I think, maybe. That would make some sense to me. I, I didn't get like an east vibe here, so maybe this is more western. I'm going to go for the commit here. It's only 1.6 times damage. And okay, we go for the same. Yes, I'm happy to get the road there. But yeah, it's going to be, again, just 10 points of damage. So there were two huge rounds here. Everything else was just normal. We'll go for a wave. We are back in North America. This map has tons of big countries. It's good fun like that. Normal looking license plate there. Bit of blue on these ones? Blue or green? I can't even tell. I think it's blue, actually, yeah. So, we have a Canadian property marker here. Yeah, this feels like Ontario to me. I think I think we've got Ontario metas, like this kind of straight post on the light. So, where do we want to go, though? It feels like a bit further north in Ontario. Yeah, Huntsville or something like that here. And it was just uh, east or west, sorry. And, uh, yeah, we are close. So, that's good. 361 points of damage there. And we are on to 2.2 times damage with a southern US round here. We got boats, timber houses again, which clearly wasn't, was pretty south last time. Ooh, but this feels quite far north, right? So we got a front plate driving right naturally. The white poles kind of make me think we're a bit further north as well. Lots of birches, pines look northern. Pines definitely look northern here. I'm thinking of going all the way northeast, but I'm just trying to get any like concrete evidence of that. The timber houses definitely work. The trees definitely work. I think this is actually Maine, you know, it looks a lot like Canada. It wasn't my very first thought, but I think I'm gonna go for that. I think I'm gonna guess main um, New Hampshire border here and hope that this is not horribly wrong, but we'll find out momentarily. And okay, it was actually New Brunswick. I really thought that that was US for some reason. I never worked it out, but uh, yeah, 900 points of damage there. Well, that's why it looked like Maine because it was over the border. Makes sense. Okay, we're in Australia here. Can we press our advantage? This is a Tasmania pole. We've got a rolling landscape here, probably Northern Tasmania for that reason to the South. Okay, can we get anything else here? Because there is like a certain part of Taz that this reminded me of, and I don't think the landscape's quite right. I was thinking around here. Again, yeah, I mean, it could be. But I think this is a bit further north. I think we're probably more likely to be looking at something, this kind of rolling landscape over here. I mean, I'm just going to guess. He might not know. He might not know which state we're in if he doesn't know the pole meta, so I'm just going to go for the guess, but... Yeah, I hope it's not down here. Oh, it was exactly where I was thinking. Fortunately, Debray hedges between, not knowing the pole, so... I mean, we could have had an extra 1,000 points damage there almost, which is the sad thing about it. Still fine with it. Okay, next one here. In the US, this is going to be Florida. Oh, this feels like Everglades, right? And we've got... Kind of, we're going slightly southeast here. East, but slightly southeast. So, let's go into Everglades. I guess this could be the angle, where if we're looking at that kind of area. I'm going to go for it here. It definitely feels quite southern, oh, but it was just inside here. Yeah, and Debray is closer. So there you go, 500 points of damage back in his direction. Or in my direction if you think about it another way, but okay. Next one here is the UK, I believe. These look like British estates. Yep, and this feels quite southern to me. This is very dry for a, for a British round. It's also very flat, I'm noticing. So I'm thinking a little further east for that reason. We've got a white thing on the pole. Don't really know. Copyright is going to be 2023. Not really helpful in UK, I think. So yeah, I'm just going to go north of London, but slightly... I'm just going to go... Cambridge here? Something like I'm going to hedge between Cambridge and Bedford here. And okay, well, it's actually all the way south there. He goes a bit further north with the estates, but I trusted the climate, which pays off 1.4k damage. 
and we head through to round number 11 here what do we have going on it's a bit of spain i think these might be uh is it spain okay let's find out so that is the back of the car these are aragon bollards actually i'm gonna press my advantage you might not notice it it's good to just go quickly in these circumstances and i'm gonna go here in aragon and of course debris knows it although he is actually in the another state so he just got the vibes apparently a bit unlucky if i went further east aragon then we would have just won but that's that's just it. 3.69999 times damage here. Thank you, Jugetta Devs. And this one could knock me out. What do we think it is? I don't want to give them too much time. So the grid's like that. We have very dry mountains to our north, but also we saw some to our south as well. How far north is this, guys? Don't actually know. How south is the sun? Not too... Oh, north. It's not too... I don't know. I feel like it is, like, not too far north here. Is it near Copiapa? I, I honestly don't know about these rounds. I, I get the feeling it is actually a bit further south. Mm, I want to hedge a bit. I'm just going to hedge between these two cities. And oh my goodness, it was quite a bit further north. And inland, I really thought that was a coastal town and it is enough to knock him out wow we got a bit lucky there and uh, that is it for the no moving so we go with a two map advantage there pretty happy i think debray you know as he said he's a bit out of practice but uh still a great result so let's uh, go chat to debray unlucky there deebs thoughts on the second match yeah i think they might need to practice more world map i think that's that might be the too much india on the mind so do you want to just jump straight into the next one i don't know if that, that those rounds were as interesting but there's the first one no the Not first the first seed definitely had the high quality rounds Hopefully we got some India in this one. We'll see. Maybe, maybe. All right, good luck, Debray. Good luck. Oakley and MPZ, can we take it right here on our third map? It would be nice. It would be nice. We shall see. I think things have been fairly even so far. First one here, Pinkish Road. I think this is Ukraine. And if we're trusting it's Ukraine, he goes quick. I think if it is Ukraine, then we're going to be somewhere in the west because this is autumn. I mean, spring coverage. We have a direct north-south road here. Okay, was in the west indeed. Ternopil. Um, and we're pretty close there, so that's not a bad effort. 380 uh, points for 127 kilometers away. Next one here, left-hand drive. Feels like Japan, right, with this huge blur. Ooh, are we on the islands? We feel like we're on some islands far away. I wonder if the uh, islands out here can look like this. That's a big balls play if we want to go for that. I feel like I feel like they may have a like some kind of a they do have a tunnel south southeast. I feel like it is possible to look like this here, but maybe it's just like the the Kyushu Islands or some of the south ones. I think if it's it's gonna be there if we're wrong. I think. Oh, and we get it. Ooh, okay, okay. He was hedging on the islands down here. That's good damage. I'm happy with that guess. Okay, very nice indeed. So the generation two coverage there is pretty common. I mean, it's all generation two down there. Next one here, we got a slightly red road. Are the pines north or south though? I think it gives me south vibes the whole round in, in general. No reflectors on the road. This actually could be north. This is like the type of round where you're either completely right or completely wrong, I feel. I don't get a vibe off the trees to be honest. So I'm kind of a little bit worried here. I'm just gonna go Kentucky. I'm actually just gonna hedge it in between everything here. And wow, it was Minnesota. And he actually goes, he, he gets the better idea of what it was, but we're closer with 500 points of damage. Minnesota makes sense. I could not find any Eastern White Pines. or It makes sense that it's out there, but yeah, I just couldn't quite get a hold of it. This one feels like it's going to be Lumpung to me. So Lumpung, yeah, he's going to go for it. I'll explain it in the next 10 seconds though. Lumpung often has these little bollards. It has tiled roofs. And they're often like a bit separated from the road, I think. Double, uh, like double roof like that. Really, really common in Lumpung, I think. And it was Lumpung, and of course, Debra gets it. So it's going to be minimal damage. But yeah, I could tell when he insta sent that that's where it was going to be. 1.6 times damage. We could go for the flawless here if we want to be extremely cheeky. But it's not, it's, it's only, we're only a few rounds in here. If you have the white car, let's not talk about flawless yet, because we still have to get where this is. I think this might be Goyas, actually. I think Southern Goyas might have the white car somewhat. Could be like Uberlandia area. Could see Matagrossa de Sul or Piranha here as well. Maybe Sao Paulo. I'm just going to go here though. And wow. Goodness me. No flaws because that is actually all the way down, down in RGDS. I can see that in hindsight, but I was not going to go there. I saw some bushes that looked further north to me. So did Debra apparently. Next one here. First one in a while where I've considered what the country is. I'm going to go faster. I think this is actually Taiwan. Or he guesses. Okay. Let's check the copyright and everything then. I mean, trees definitely fit. We have the front of a blue car, which fits. Only thing I'm really worried about here would be like a really weird Hong Kong or a really weird Thailand, but should should just be Taiwan in my opinion. And of course it is, which is good. And uh, you know, he, he he got that pretty quickly. Of course, Debra is a very strong player, so not a surprise. Next one here, 2.2 times damage. And we appear to be in Russia. This could be good for Debre again. So what kind of road are we on here? We got we got lots of birches for sure. 2021, of course it is Russia. I don't really know like how gettable this round is. This kind of felt like it might be the road that like goes from Chelya to Ufa, like uh, Chelya to Perm, 
and then down like this. We are north northeast. I mean, yeah, north northeast. That doesn't really make too much sense actually for that road. That doesn't make a lot of sense for that road, guys. Do I switch off? Might be advantageous for me to switch off here. I'm gonna go Tomsk instead. Okay, that was a good switch, I guess technically. He goes much further north, and it ends up being in northern Chumen, the road up to um so good. So not the vibe I was getting. That's fine. I mean, again, we're just completely far away because Russia on NMPZ is you know, relatively difficult. This one looks a lot like Poland, square buildings, double whites in the center. I'm just gonna click middle here. This should be it. Fine and easy middle click and it is north, but they're very ops for the same tactics. So just minimal points of damage here, but the multis are starting to rise. So our early advantage is slipping away from us by the round. And here we are in Brazil that we have like some kind of a green hill in the background there. That kind of feels a bit Northern to me. Yeah, I do think this is Northern Brazil actually. Do I commit? I think I will commit here. Yeah, I think I will commit. So that hills to our southwest or it's kind of southish. Gravata has hills like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Gravata. This is kind of my my vibe for the area. And sheesh, it was Goyania. I saw a yellow marking on the pole, which I just thought would mean we were there. But now we are down to 400 health. So we need big countries only. And we get India. So I mean, it could be redemption for us, but likelihood is that Debre is gonna know this. Is that a white, black, white pole? Like that would be a Southern style of pole, but I, I get the feeling this is actually just, just somewhere in Rajasthan, really. How much do we want to hedge this? I feel like I would go just like around here, really. It's tough round. We're just going to click in the middle of my, uh, Rajasthan here and hope to survive. Force him to do something crazy. And he is going to do something. Well, I mean, we get the, we do we get state? No, we don't. So that's just Madhya Pradesh. He actually gets the state, right? And we lose there. So a bit of India magic there, but uh, to be fair, he did outplay me on that one. So uh, let's go back and talk to Debre, who has avoided the floor and can still come back to win. Okay, Debre, bit of India, bit of Brazil. Nice, GG's. Okay, now, now the ultimate comeback begins. Oh yeah. This is where it starts. The reverse sweep is well and truly on. Talk us through the Brazil. Cause I was, I was thinking Northeast there. I saw the yellow marking on the pole. I thought that might be a Northeast thing. What were you thinking? I, I understand. Like I, I did think like it, it, like the vibe was Northeastern. But the, the soil was just like this deep red soil. I just don't think you see on the island in the northeast. Mm, that's, you get that's red good. soil, obviously, because it's Brazil. But like deep red, you don't really. That's a good point in hindsight. I definitely, I definitely think you're right about that. Okay, we're back into no moving now. Good luck, and uh, let's see if the comeback can continue, shall we? Surely, surely it will. Okay, no moving in game number four here. I would love to close it out just here. We're gonna play all five games regardless, but I would love to close it out. The first one is looking like it's gonna be Switzerland, which is a very poor country for me. All in all, I and to just kind of click the southeast when you get tons of mountains like this. So I'm gonna try that, but yeah, what should just be southwest and me get wrecked? Uh, but yes, yeah, uh, Switzerland that got the low camera. So you can see we're kind of low down in perspective, very easy country to recognize because the privacy laws mean they have to do that. It is all the way on the Italian border there, I assume, or Austrian border. 33 points of damage is what the hedge will give us. Okay, next one here looks like Portuguese pavement maybe. We have an Italian license plate though. Architecture feels a bit further north. We're looking out to the north there on what looks like, it looks like the north doesn't really have much ahead of us, which is really interesting to me here uh, because I was considering going here, which is obviously somewhere where you'd look north at mountains. Maybe we could even be this side or something like that. That could be a crazy guess. Or maybe we're on Sardinia, I don't know. But it is an Italian license plate. So, I mean, I think I'm just gonna go for the guess here. Let's find out. And okay, it was, oh we, yeah, we were looking north at coast, but I thought we were on a mountain. Instead, we were just on a hill. So 600 points of damage there. Nice hedge from Debre, it pays off quite well. And we are down at the second round or third round. We have some kind of Baltic looking stuff here. Houses feel relatively Baltic and everything. Is it a Lithuanian or a Estonian pole top? I think the vibes were much more Lithuania. So I think I'm just going to click Lithuania here and call it a day and hope I'm not wrong. Oof, that was Ukraine. Of course, that pole top was Ukraine. To be honest though, I really thought it was Baltic. I mean, the houses were not wooden. Oh, we're oh my gosh. Yeah, we're playing We're playing no moving. I, I keep forgetting that. So that's why I sent in the question marks because <laughs> I should have been able to turn around and see the Ukrainian car. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean... You know, we play on, we play on. Oh, uh, this is Poland. Now, where do we want to go in Poland? I think this is a bit of a hedge middle kind of situation. Architecture's not going to help. I think we're going to go, yeah, we're just going to go middle here, which is fine. And it was actually in the Southeast. So that is a good decision to just go middle here, 700 points. We really needed that after our less than ideal start, I guess you could say. And here we go. We're going to look around. Are we in Brazil here? Yes, no. Okay, it looks like we have the Colombian car or maybe Mexican. Oh, we have this plant, which looks like the stuff they grow in Mexico, but the poles are round. So I'm thinking actually Colombia here. And if Colombia, we have Northwesterly mountains here, which are kind of short. Uh, and then is that a ridge there? 
We do have ridges like all sides of us. So yeah, I think this is actually North Columbia. That would make the most sense unless we were in like the biggest valley. And Sun is solidly south. So that's good. I'm just going to go here. I'm actually going to hedge it a bit here. This, this doesn't give me full North vibes. So we'll just have to find out here. And it is actually East of Andes there. Wow. So it was River Hills, the other side of us. And yeah, 700 points of damage there. Good to hedge. I mean, objectively, it's never going to be where I clicked, but I wanted to, you know, hedge my bets for both, which pays off. Okay, Australia here. Looks like we're all the way north. Are we going to get anything here? No, but this feels like, this feels like definitely the Cairns area to me. I feel like Debray gets this because this is like a really, uh, the type of place map makers love to look around. And we know that Debray loves to make maps. Yeah, green sign. I, I feel like this is definitely Cairns for sure. It's very tropical. And Cairns is a long way from any other city. So obviously it can be huge damage if our opponent does not recognize it. And it is Cairns. He goes in Edmonton, Edmonton, Queensland, but uh, it's going to be 40 points of damage. Now, if you went Edmonton, Alberta, then he might have been in more trouble. But on this occasion, he picks the right Edmonton and so progresses forth in the game. Okay, next one here. Yeah, no border on the red sign. Is this actually Norway? It is. Okay, Norway's Debre's probably favorite country in GeoGuessr, I think. Trees-wise, it feels a little further north, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. And we'll see where Debre goes. But yeah, the hills are kind of mild. It definitely feels like it's near Sweden. And yeah, Norwegian signs don't have a white border, which I could just make out. So even without the road lines, I think I would have got it. And we are closer than Debre in Norway on no moving. That's always a bit of a flex. 500 points of damage there. Next one here, 2.5 times damage in the US. We've got a star on the house. Feels definitely American. Got like lots of these southernish pines. Oh yeah, this feels like a very typical southern round, right? Um, the question is where though? It's dead flat. It's very sandy, so maybe a bit further east with the sand, but you never can really trust that. But we do have a lot of pines that are quite tall. Oh, it's Southern Roulette. Like, Southern Roulette is, like, there's definitely more... Oh, ooh, ooh. plates, plates. Mississippi, maybe? Don't really get anything off those. And the other ones? No, no others. I think I'm going to go I'm between Alabama and South Carolina, weirdly. So maybe I should go Georgia here. But I think I actually just go Alabama. I think that's actually my safest bet. And it was actually Louisiana, which came to mind at first, but yeah, he was clearly hedging for the sandiness. I saw the sandiness as well. So yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate I didn't click further south, but at the end of the day, if it was Carolinas, we were in trouble. So next one here is Lesotho. Maybe feels like near or slightly north of the capital to me. I'm just going to go in here. It's not the most interesting round to me. No one's going to get eliminated. And it was a bit further north. And Debre is closer to the effect of 115 points. We're still winning. I really want to win this one. And we got pines everywhere. This will be revenge for the World Cup, you know. Uh, this is another piney round, yeah. And this time it's very sandy. This time I do think it's like Georgia, South Carolina kind of stuff. Do we have any reflectors? We do not. Oh, okay. Then we have wide lines, though. Okay. Maybe this is further west than I thought. Wide lines would... No, no, no. The wide... No, I don't, I don't trust him. I don't trust him, actually. No, no, no. I, I think I'm going to go Georgia here. Georgia, and it, and it kind of looks like Florida and South Carolina, so I'm going to go southeast in Georgia. And okay, wow, it was south, North Carolina. That's just so Southern Roulette, bro, because yes, it looks like quite a bit like Mississippi, but it also just looks like North Carolina. Like, yeah, unless you have reflectors or some kind of proper uh, vegetation meta, then it's tough. Well, this is, I think, British Columbia, right? I'm trying to look for any evidence. Oh, those poles could feel good for BC. We have a railway. We have pretty big mountains here. This should be like Prince George stuff, I imagine. Do we have a railway along that? I don't know. I do think it's somewhere near Prince George. We do have fairly big hills. So maybe it's a little further in here. I'm going to go for the guess here. I, I think I, I think I'm in the right area here. But we'll, we'll see. Maybe it's further south as well. Or maybe it's the other side of Canada. It really could be, but the mountains are pretty big. And where will Debra go? Okay, it was inside the valley. We go for the same kind of area there. It's going to be 34 points of damage. I can't hope to knock him out there. What's a difficult round. Next one here. It looks like Italy. And we have lots of Italian cars, so I could just go straight for it. No, but it's obviously in Italy, so we have to work out where here. So the ocean here is to our northwest. Surely that's useful. So if, if we're looking northwest at the ocean, then it is to the west and obviously to the north as well. But would it make more sense for us to be even further south here? I, I feel like it just kind of feels like Naples or Rome area to me. Uh, but there's less coastal towns here as well. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't think there's going to be anything else here. What does it say? Mati Matina. Oh, no. I feel like it's a small place. I hope it's a small place. I'm going to leave it at Rome. I feel like that's likely. And wow, it was, it wasn't a place. No, it wasn't. And where's Debre? He's too far. 
He's in Slovenia. Oh, you know, he's in Terrest. Oh, that makes sense as a guess, but wow, the balls to commit is crazy. Uh, GG is to Debra there. Wow, GG is what a last round. I just wanted to see what happens. You know, I just had a hunch. And I that was, was like, a, that yeah. was a balls commit. I full respect that, bro. Obviously, if you were, if it wasn't yeah. going to be there, then you're going to be very far. <laughs> GG is okay. We'll play out the last one, shall we, for NMPZ to um, see if you can sure. take one more off me. Uh, so good luck. luck. Final one, NMPZ. Let's see here. And so we have a bit of Japan to start off with here. We have these spiked pole tops, which are quite common around Tokyo. But then again, I feel like if they have the two rings on them, maybe it can be elsewhere as well. Guy wire looks pretty normal. So do I go near Tokyo or do I go further east? I mean, west is the question because this one, as I said, can be found further west as well. Um, I feel like it, I feel like it actually could be one where we just hedge between and, and go for an Osaka, Kyoto kind of kind of guess here. That could actually be my tactic. I'm just not too sure. No, this actually, this this pole top also looks a bit further west here. I'm actually going to commit here. Okayama. Oof, it was Okayama. That feels good. He goes Tokyo. So that's a really nice guess to start off with there. One point, one K almost. So, okay, let's see if we can back that up with some more good guesses here. And NPZ is my element. Obviously, we did lose one of them on there, but this is clearly going to be somewhere in in Kenya. We can see the bottom of the car and, you know, the, re the brownish reddish soil also fits. I think I'm just going to go north of Nairobi here. It could be Nakuru. Maybe it looks a bit like Nakuru. Yeah, I'm going to go Nakuru, actually. It, it should just be somewhere around the bigger cities. And it was just south of Nakuru there. And a good guess from Debre. Really nice guess, honestly. 70 points only, though. We are definitely in the driver's seat so far. Next one here. Going to be something in mm, Romania. I was just practicing Romania today with Radu. Looking at these roofs, they feel a bit further south. I mean, we have a very limited sample size here, but it could definitely be the case. The... Hills are not really, uh, we don't really see which direction the hills are. I'm just going to go here. Okay, well, it's there as well. And he goes east of the mountains. So this has been a really nice start to the jewel. Yeah, not much to say about that one, though. The tiled roofs being more common in the northwest. Next one here, long outer dashes. We're back in Norway. The trees are not super tall here. I wonder if this is deceptively north. Because first thought is obviously south. But I'm actually thinking I might mess around a little bit and go a bit further north than I normally would here. I'm going to do that. Okay, it was a bit further north. That's good. Um, obviously Debra is close, but that's a good guess from us. Pretty happy with that. I'm s I feel like I'm getting to the stage where I'm starting to piece together a lot of stuff about countries that I was previously bad at, which I'm really pleased about. Oh, this is South Africa. I think this is South Africa. This is like similar to stuff I was looking at today when I was having a click around Plattenberg Bay, something like that here, in my opinion. Can be George, can be Nibirha, can be something further towards Cape Town, but I definitely like South Coast South Africa. And if I went so quickly, he might think it's Australia. It's possible, in which case we just knock him out, but... I think Debray would get it. He certainly did. We are very equidistant here, just between George and Plattenberg Bay. 11 points only there. Okay, nice guess by Debray. Next one here. Are we going to be in the US again? I think that would seem likely with the yellow lines, but we have a lot of ferns. Actually looking more northern in terms of vegetation here. These these looks like an uh, eastern white pine to me. So where do we want to go here? I think this is northeast US or Canada. Um, I don't think it's probably too far west. That would, that, like, with the with the predominance of the pines, I, I would get that feeling. Um, he goes in. New York could make sense here. Um, I might just go for New York, but it looks like kind of snow damaged here. I'm actually going to go further north northeast. Maybe New Hampshire here could be the play. I don't know. It's it's a pretty risky guess, all, all, all things considered. We'll see, though. I know it was a risky guess, man, there. Minnesota, we're going to survive. 3.7k. Ish. A little bit too confident there. Minnesota, the road makes sense. Well, it did have a slight tinge to it, but, you know, can't really do much about that. This feels like Kanto. So I was thinking, yeah, I would say this is like maybe uh, Kyoto or something like that here, Osaka. I think Osaka here. Is there any phone code? Whoops, should have checked for that. Looks like there's not, so I think we've been let off the hook here a little bit, but I hope that I hope that my region guess is decent. I think it looks like Osaka. The pole tops make sense. Oh, and oh, it was, oh man, it was actually Kyushu there. So that should be GG damage there, I imagine. 1.9k. We're still in it. We are still in it here and we have it, not India, but Nigeria. I don't like this round, guys. We pretty much are forced to click Kano. Obviously, he can deal 100 damage just inside Kano. So I feel like we just click Kano. I think it's actually just the safest thing. And yeah, he has to do the same, really. So that's good for us. And we survive. He, he tries to go a little bit further because, yeah, if, if he was just that side of it, which is for us considering clicking, to be honest, but if he was just that side of it, then he just wins. So it's pretty crazy. Next one here. And we are in Peru, I believe. And I'm going to, you know, force, my hand, force his hand a little bit here and go it's definitely south peru with this pole paint i think oh he eliminates me like that well i eliminated him like that earlier so i guess that is fair play and man could have gone middle but no i was always thinking south with that pole paint pole paint i think so there we go debris 
gets one back on me, so we end off at 3-2 here. So, so far on the series, Antec, I beat 3-2. Debre, I beat 3-2. Shimmy, I lost 1-4. Let's talk to Debre, finally here, and, uh, yeah, chat about the series. Okay, Debre, GG's. Good series, oh, bro. Geez. I want to explain yeah. something. I went Lithuania on Ukraine because I accidentally played NMPZ. That is the reason, if you were curious. <laughs> yeah, I suspected so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in hindsight, it's kind of a bad guess. The houses were not timber, but, you know, what can you do? Yeah. Um, any any uh, any thoughts about the series? Any uh, message about, to your competitors as you head through to the Europe Championships? Uh, well, you don't have a lot to fear in me, apparently. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're degrading my play. You're degrading my play. Is that what's happening here, Debra? <laughs> Fearing me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, know, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, in fact, we are just the uh, top three players in the world. You know, just like Shimmy one, you two, I'm the third. It's just, everyone else is just worse. That could make a lot That's of sense. possible, too. That could make a lot of sense, guys. If you agree with Debra, leave a comment right now because he might be cooking up a storm <laughs> with that one, I think. Um, anyway, give the video a like. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Debra, big thank you for coming on the channel once again, my friend. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. So, till next time, guys. Goodbye.